right, what we have here is this, uh, this is uh, <laughs> Ross and Karen over here, okay? So you're, Karen, get up there so you're gonna, you're gonna, he's gonna teach you how to, how to get yourself set up with this. Now this is what, after it's been downloaded from iTunes, and when you open it up, this is the first thing to see. Is that correct, Karen? Uh, yeah. All right, so now, now Rob's gonna walk us through how, what we need to do next. So you're going up here to what's called? I'm gonna add a site. Add a site. And then you're gonna choose the name for the site. You can type too. And we're gonna call it foundation. Wait, just, uh, it takes a second to... You can, it can. And then channels. One dash sixteen. Okay. Then you're gonna select done. By the way, channels is the number of channel total channels you have capa you're capable of on this DVR. Correct. For the address, it is going to be foundation dot dw dd n s dot net. Okay, and then the port number is going to be 90110. Oh, one? And then the web port 8245. Say it aloud again 8245. 8245, okay. Then you're going to hit what? What are you hitting up there? Save. Save. Every okay. time you're done, you're going to hit save. Okay. And then the user ID. There we go. It's A F K. And then user password. And we're going to turn to... away because that's that's private, right? Yes, it is. Don't read. I kind of want to read your lips now. <laughs> Keep your lips still. There you go. <laughs> You got it? Yes. Okay, can we come and come back? You can come back now. Because you saved it, right? You yes. hit the save button, all right? Okay. Now you're going to select the model. Model. Where are your finger at? Down at the down? very bottom. Okay. Model. And you're going to choose the VMAX 480. Where is your finger? Oh, there right. it is. Right. VA. Okay, got it. And then hit your done. And then this is all of your information. And so what you're going to do is the upper right hand corner, hit save. Tells you that it saved it. You can press your OK. And now what you want to do is you want to highlight the foundation and then come down. And this is your connect button. And then you can tell it whether you want to search video or you want to see live video. In our case, we'll see live video. Okay, very good. Now go ahead and go ahead and show them how, how you open that up so you get a bigger picture. Go ahead. You go down. You can select your picture. You highlight it. It's yellow. It's highlighted in yellow. Which one do you look at? They, that first one there, that's that's cam one. And now you got the bigger picture. Okay? You got live there. Okay? Alright, and then this and is then a, this is a PTZ. It. Yeah, right. Okay, now the nice thing about this cam one, which is outdoors, is after a certain period of time it goes back to the home position. And what you're looking at right now is the home position, okay? Alright? Okay. Okay, very good. And yeah, it moves around. And these are just are these still reverse? This would Yes they are. They were, that's all right. Okay, just have to remember that the plus and the minus are don't go on the opposite of what you would expect. Okay, we're done, right? Is yes. that the same thing for the? When you open up the iPhone, it's a little different. You just got kind of like a little blank screen here, right? Is that what you got? Mm -hmm. Mac, yeah. Okay. And so you can hit hit the plus sign. Name. Okay. You hit you click name. Same information goes in. What's the first thing you're asking? Foundation. Uh, found for the name. Device name is what it's asking you. Right. Okay, so you put in there foundation. Mm-hmm. And then the number of channels. One dash one six. And then we're gonna hit done. Done, okay. And then the address is going to be the foundation. Dot D W D D D W D D N S dot net, and then for the port, we're gonna select nine zero one zero. 
Nine zero. One zero. One zero. And then for the web port, we're going to do 8245. 8245, got it. Correct. And then just hit your done again. Okay. And then we'll fill in the user ID. A, F, K. And then we'll turn away for a minute. Turn away for a minute. Look at this Two, gorgeous three, woman four. over here. <laughs> Thanks. We just can't wait to get married. <laughs> and then you can hit. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hit okay uh, where are we now we're, 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 we hit save and it brought us back to our main screen and now we're gonna select the model the model which is the how would you get to model why did you get there just hit down at the very bottom oh, right it, here. oh it's oh it, okay just go down to model okay so hit that Vmax 480 and then done okay and then hit your save to save it says that it saved it now here all I have to do is select it and then down at the bottom of the screen, hit your live. Okay. It's a little different, but it's there. And there you are. Got all, se all seven of them. Uh, just for for the sake of clarity, uh, select the one you just put in, the camera you just put in. You highlight it, it turns yellow around the perimeter. And there you go. Okay? Orientation will change. With You're right. Well, I have the orientation oh, you locked. Have your <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes. good. Excellent, excellent. Now we're going to take it, take it forward now. Uh huh. Ross, okay. If you bring your mouse to the bottom of the screen, it automatically pops up with this bar. Yeah. The first icon to the very left yeah. allows you to get into your setup menu. Okay. You can go into your setup menu, and this is all icon driven. Everything w that you will need to be used is based on this portion right here. You can go, if you want to check your hard drive settings and how much hard drive you have left, you can come to your setting and HDD, which stands for hard disk drive. Okay. And in here, you can see that you have a capacity of one terabyte, and there's 995.7 gigs free. Because we just set up that new camera, so we're starting zero. Uh, we, re we restarted everything. So today exactly. is January 9th, uh, 2012, right? Exactly. So we're going to see. Right, and this allows you to know that it's going to overwrite the old video yep. rather than stop recording. Right. So that is all of your information that you will need to know for your hard drive right so there. So by this, we'll be able to determine how long it usually takes exactly. to overwrite, whether it's a month, two months, or whatever. What would be your best guess? What, do you, what would be your educated guess as to how long it's going to take to overwrite? I would say much? probably two months. Two months, okay. I all would right. say two months. Okay. Um, other than that, you have your recording schedules, which every time we add a camera in, this is where we add it in here. Okay. Let them know that it is going to work on this on this settings. Okay. On um, what quality it's going to record at, all of that information. Right. Okay. All we're going to do is just kind of doing a survey. The most important thing is the system, the system icon down here. Correct. Where you can go and look at your hard drive. All of the information, like if, if you ever had to call tech support or call loss, this is the, all the information we would need to know. Okay. All gotcha. the user info and everything is in here. Okay. Now, supposing I want to go back and look at something that happened at a certain date off of this, how would I do that? You can come up and you can get out of this menu right here. Uh -huh. We're going to come down and you see how it comes with our menu again? Yeah. We have our playback. Playback. Well, go back again because I don't think I got that recorded. You can, you can come down here and playback. Playback. It's right there. Yeah. And Hit that. That button right there. Yeah. This gives you a recording playback and you can bring your mouse again down. Obviously, since we restarted the DVR, there's not a lot of time on it. But here is where you can select back and forth. This whole bar will light up. Yeah, how do you select a certain day, a certain time? You have a calendar. So how do you get to that? You, well, you didn't tell us how to get there. Go back. If you click on this little guy there, magnifying, little, little magnifying glass. glass, yeah. It brings you into a calendar, yes. calendar format. Yes. So you can choose your so, days. Suppose you want to go back to Monday the, uh, the 2nd of you January. Would, you would choose Monday the 2nd. Yes. But we cleared your DVR so you don't have any video on it. Oh, okay, that's right. So, so we've started over. But these days will start lighting up red. And those are days that you're able to search. Which is also how we'll determine how many days your DVR is recording. Well, today's the 9th. What's the, t the 10th is uh, tomorrow. Got the time right there? You got the wrong date up there? Did it go off? It did go off. So we today's the 10th. Oh, today is the 10th? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I today, stand corrected. So today is the 10th, and tomorrow the 10th will stay red. Yeah. So that's how you find. That's basically how you find it. 
Exactly. So if I chose here, you can see where it gives me all of my video that I have. Right there? Okay. Yes. And you can expand that out so you see a larger portion of it? or is it... This one does not expand, only on the um, okay. PC version. And you just hit play and it just plays whatever you have there. Hit play and it'll play whatever video is there. Yeah. And as you can see, it's very smooth when you look at it here. It's not, it's not like coming over IP or uh, over the internet. Correct. Um, okay, what Ross is going to do here is going to show me how to go back and look at a particular date. Uh, when we pull up on the, uh, from my computer over the internet, the, um, uh, the, the tool, or in other words, the display here. So you tell me, just verbally say, so I can make sure I record what needs to be recorded. So they're going so into like search. You're, you're going to search, yeah, okay. Hit connect. Hit connect to search. And it gives you all of your information down here, just as you were at the DVR. Right, okay. So you have all of this right here, and then you have your calendar function. On so, so if you wanted to zip back to uh, the second of... Um, you want to zip back to the second, you just click on that. You could click on this. And it'll just, it'll, just, it'll just bring it back to that point. Right. It says that there's no video on it, so it automatically brings me back. Right, because we just started We just started the cycle today. Exactly. Okay. All right, and then you just play it, huh? Exactly. Yeah. And if we get to have to do much more than that, for example, record onto a disc or something, we just give you guys a call. You call us and we handle that portion. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. And it's that easy. Okay. Good. That's it.